opened my eyes to a completely different way of working. We can save up to a quarter of a GP time in a busy practice. It has saved two hours per day of GP time, which over a year that is 390 hours. We've actually analysed all the, all the figures and we've seen uh, the savings that it's made. There's been a, a, a real release of administration time. We've got evidence that it has saved us £39,000. And what name is it? It's I don't know how, why, why it's different than anything we've done before, but it really is and it works. Everything that we suggest um, is evidence-based. Within the GP Five Year Forward View, there is a programme of work which is called Time for Care and one of the strands within that is the Productive General Practice Quick Start programme. I think the practice will agree to a couple of things because you know they see the benefit of it. We saw this as a way of equipping our workforce, moving forward and uh, transitioning to a better way of doing things. Whichever practice you go into, inevitably somebody's going to be doing something really well. So it's about perhaps pinching some ideas from a practice down the road and giving people the space to share and celebrate those successes. Today's event is the celebration event for all of the practices that have been directly involved in Berry. It was for them to actually showcase the work that they've actually done. We were looking for a project that would bring practices together. We were looking for a project that would empower our receptionists to have a real handle on what's going on and be able to change what's happening within the practices. Hi, come and take a seat. We decided to look at our process for preparing and issuing repeat prescriptions, mainly because it was quite a cumbersome process and it seemed to dominate quite a lot of um, of our day as GPs and certainly a lot of the day for the admin team. The problem with the paper-based system was a lot of prescriptions. It would take a massive amount of our time. You know that there's problems but until you sit down and somebody from outside of that process can sit down with you or make you look at that in a way that you don't normally look at it then it, it's difficult to see what's going wrong and why. Some of the issues that came up are things that we've talked about internally for a long time but the impetus to actually make the changes didn't move forward really. Um, so having a fresh pair of eyes to, to look at what we're doing and also to sort of direct us um, you know in the right way I think was really really helpful. It's very much based on evidence of what's worked well in other parts of the country and what we're trying to do is create an opportunity for people to really share that learning to build on it. People who've been speaking they'll be around to maybe just um, probe a little bit more with some questions or thoughts. Typically in Productive General Practice Quick Start, facilitators will spend time within a practice over eight weeks where there would be six sessions working directly with staff and practice managers and GPs over the lifetime of the programme. We do have a lot of staff and obviously a lot of patients, so trying to um, get through to all the staff about the change and what we are trying to do can sometimes be a challenge. Not always is change really accepted. Um, so certainly this process has really helped with that. When PGP Quick Start was offered to us, um, at first, I'll be honest, I was a little bit sceptical. But I feel that I, how it's turned out is um, completely, completely opposite to what I thought. The processes that I, I was taught while, um, while I've been doing this training, it's completely new to me. Uh, PDSA, Matrix, Fishbone Chart, never heard of them, haven't, didn't have a clue what was being taught to me. But as, as the training's gone along, um, and I've just, it's just opened my eyes to a completely different way of working. What I've seen is loads and loads of great examples of specific improvements that you've made. And what's been great is you've made the right improvements for yourself. You haven't just chosen what you think you should look at. To make this work in Berry, strong support from the CCG throughout the programme has been absolutely essential. Time is important and the practice managers understood fully what, what was expected of them in terms of their engagement and the engagement of their staff. Have you got any questions about that at all? Um, I'm actually already seeing that my inbox full of repeat prescription requests I'm dealing with quicker, I'm trying to put time aside specifically in the day to deal with it and things and that's, that's actually been really noticeable in the last few weeks. I've been really pleased with that. Hi. Is it possible to order a repeat prescription, please? I used to spend a massive amount of time looking for lost prescriptions, filing prescriptions, putting prescriptions away, getting prescriptions out, and that time has been reduced hugely. Thank you.
you very much. All right, thank you. See ya. Initially, the practices were quite sceptical, but there's a real buzz of excitement now. Practices have really taken this on board, and the whole atmosphere is much more upbeat. In May 15, uh, we had a CQC inspection, and we had a, a requires improvement. That was a, that the outcome was that. Um, and recently, January 17, just a couple of months ago, we received a, a good, a solid good across the board, and that was really good. Um, and I think it was in no small part uh, due to the productive uh, GP programme has been really beneficial to us. I would 100% recommend it. It's, it's really been um, a bit of an eye-opener. would recommend it to, to anybody who was looking to, or maybe stuck with the, the way they work and not knowing what they could do to, to better themselves. Definitely would go down this, this line. Mm -hmm.